Hi, this is Bob again. I wanted to get back with you this time on electrode placement for headaches. And one of the things I'll tell you right up front, you never put electrodes up on the head itself. There's a couple of reasons for that. Biggest reason is you have skin and then you have bone. Remember, electricity likes moisture. Your fat tissue, as my wife Elizabeth, the physical therapist, has pointed out, but also one of the things that we have is up here it can become uncomfortable. Now, please understand, I am saying that from a historical basis of using a TENS unit. When you use interferential, you're using 8,000 cycles per second, not 150. And with the Infrax Plus, you can choose TENS or interferential. Now, one of the things we do that's a universal when you do electrode placement for a headache, and it doesn't matter which society you're in, it's universal. There's a spot in your web space. It's called Hoku, and different variations of this depending upon the country. But basically, one of the ways we used to find it, you could actually pull your finger up on the web space, and you'll find a little spot that will sort of grab your finger. Your finger slides easy, and then it gets rougher. That's generally Hoku. A lot of times you can press there, apply pressure here, and you can feel it. I mean, it's very sensitive. You feel on it? That's a great place for an electrode. Now, because that's a small area, I'm going to use a small electrode with that. So I would put this electrode here. Now, if you have chronic headache pains, uh, you can take some of these electrodes. You can call us, but we can actually cut these electrodes. You can cut them. And you can actually end up making it much smaller, like the size of a dime. And that would be probably more efficacious than this. Now, the other thing I would do after I've done that, I would take one of the cables, I would put it in here, then I would take another electrode, and I've got a couple of options here. One of the reasons I'm going to use a larger electrode now than what I, than this one, is because we are always going to start off on interferential mode. Now, we will start off on low rate interferential mode, and you can call us, we can tell you, or show you how to set this up, the Infrax Plus, so you can do this. But a nice thing about electricity, and any time you're up around the shoulders and the neck, is the electricity itself tends to, there's a paresthesia. You tend to relax. And one of the things that happens, like with a migraine headache, there are some situations where there, we suspect, because the muscles are very tight around the neck and the shoulders, that you are impeding blood flow and blood flow coming down from the brain. So when you put, use uh, the Infrax Plus, and you put the electrode up around, this is a little bit, wait, let me pull this over. Can, so can I can, do this? Yeah, I can do this side. I can do either side. And I can put it right here. Now I'm right around good muscle. Then I would plug this in here. You can actually stretch your electrode, your cables. I would plug it in here. And then Elizabeth would take the Infrax Plus. We would put it on low rate. And what happens is you'll get a, we'll try to get a little pulsation here and in the Hoku space. And it's only about a 20-minute treatment on interferential. But there should be two things. A, you have headache relief. But two, many people with migraine headaches, they get symptoms prior to the migraine becoming bad. And we're trying to interrupt the symptoms before you ever get to a full-grown migraine. That's the way to do it. Now, if we turn the unit on, and we would have the cable in here, uh, we would turn the unit on. One of the things we may feel... Oh, wait, this one feels stronger than this one, which would be normal because you have a smaller electrode and a big one. Or you could get a reverse. Wait a minute, I'm feeling this electrode more than I am this one, and we're really trying to stimulate Hoku. Before you do anything, I would turn the unit off, simply switch the cables. And all this is is changing the, the way the electrons, when we deal with electricity, we're electric. What makes electricity is electrons movement. Now she would turn it back on. Yes, I'm feeling this stronger now. Go 20 minutes, turn it off. You should be absolutely fine. Uh, this is just one electrode placement. If you did not want to use Hoku, I'm going to pull this off. Let's say your head's hurting. You're tight. Another thing I would do is I would take one of my electrodes, another electrode. And a lot of people with headaches, they're... Literally, their muscles are tight, and I'm probably telling some of you that know this very well. I would take this other electrode. I would put it, say, right here. And after I've put it right here, then I would plug the cable in, and I would wear it that way on interferential and take a treatment and do it. 
Now, nice thing, and I need to point this out, anytime you're dealing with headache area in the neck area, one of the things that always happens is a lot of times, especially with men, you have hair here. So when you're putting an electrode on and off, it pulls on the hair, and that's not a comfortable sensation. One of the things we have that you can use is a little roll-on that you actually roll it over the area where you're going to be putting an electrode. So it was right here, and it actually forms a plastic shield. The electrode adheres to the plastic, that's on the skin, but that plastic is electrically conductive. So when you turn it on, boom, there goes the electricity across there. You go to pull your electrode off. It comes right on off because it's not on the skin, it's on the plastic. But that's another one of the little products that we tell people about in case those are issues. But basically, this is one way that you would do uh, for headaches. And Elizabeth, if you can turn around, I do want to emphasize the point, do not put electrodes up in this area. Okay? Thanks for watching.